Hello all and welcome to another video in my journey to 1 million gamer score series and with October been and gone it's time to indeed bring to you all of the gamer score and the completions that I got in the month that was October 2021. So let's hop straight over to the gaming, scroll down to the beginning of the month, although I say that some of this is out of order because it disappeared on my list and I had to load up the game to get it to reappear again or keep on waiting. So, but may not be in chronological order, but everything in the month will be covered, of course. Uh, I will start with a couple of achievements in Samurai Showdown have been added, but I won't go into that too deeply, certainly not now. Hopefully one day in the future I'll get the completion, and I will scan over that very quickly. Okay, so above that we've got Escape Sequence. This is another Zatillion game. Zatillion, synonymous for adding a game of score every what is six months after a certain time period, because that's the earliest they can do. So this game has potential to jump up to as much as 5,000, perhaps even 7,000, when some of the other games get a further 1,000G added to them. Now this one is easy to get that 2,000, but I would say only with a guide. In fact, definitely I would say only with a guide. If you go on trueachievements.com, solutions for all of the levels with regards to what inputs you need to put in using your D-pad without even looking at the screen will net you all of the achievements because all of those 22 achievements there are for finishing a certain up to a certain level so like we've got up to a certain level which is 20 will get you all of the achievements i believe a couple of the early ones oh no there's there's an achievement there for have had second thoughts and then above that is for finishing every level basically have second thoughts is basically for retrying a level so that's not difficult to do at all but apart from that it's finishing levels and as i say true achievements will tell you all of the inputs you need to put into the levels with regards to basically up down left and right follow those exactly and you'll be okay i did miss miss input on a couple and have to restart the levels but you know that was just my own mistake and it's not difficult to do if you follow those guides on true achievements so yeah can get that done in under an hour if you can follow it and do it all in one sitting i actually did this game in about two or three sittings over a number of days just because yeah i did, didn't fancy sitting through it all in one go to be honest with you i wanted to break it up to make it a little less painful to do because there wasn't much actual game playing being done okay above that is immortus temporis I hope I got that pronunciation right. And this was quite a fun, actually, little puzzle game. Not Again, not too difficult. You can use guys to help you know exactly what to do and to speed things up. But you basically have to get a dot into a hole at the end of the level. Completing 30 levels will net you all the achievements along the way. As long as you are aware of what the gold times are on the levels. As you'll see here, there are achievements for getting gold time in 12 levels. Now... I did this in a lot of the early levels on, but then I got to like a level where I couldn't quite do the time, so I moved on from that level and then obviously had to go at a later one sort of thing. But, you know, I did it 12 times before I got to level 30. The only thing I would say, like, if you're really, really struggling with a level, just, just progress on and you might find some of the later levels actually easier than the one you got stuck on, which is basically exactly what happened to me. Now, I don't understand this, like, 10 levels in time, complete 10 levels. All of those in time ones unlock because you have to finish the level in time to unlock the next level. So I don't quite understand that why there's two separate achievements for those. Complete 10 levels that die unlocked at the same time as well. But basically play through 30 levels and do 12 in gold time and you'll unlock all achievements along the way. So you can use a guide to speed up. I didn't use a guide and did it in 35 minutes. So, not a tough completion at all. I, I, I would imagine if you do use a guide, it will speed up a little bit. Because there are some levels where you purposely kill the dots, so it restarts in the middle, but the progress that you've made doesn't get deleted. Because you have to collect, oh, you have to collect like little red dots, or collect something, I can't remember if it's red dots or not. You have to collect these things and then go to the hole. So once you've mopped up all the things, the hole opens, you go into it, you finish the level. Right, a couple of Series X stacks. And they start off with Energy Cycle. So you can now stack games on the Series X as well as the Xbox One. So obviously I've done Energy Cycle. Now Energy Cycle is a super easy completion if you use the guides on trueachievement.com. But if you go on to the link for the Series X release that's just happened, there are no solutions on there. Certainly as of time of recording, they might hopefully copy them across. But because I played this before in the past, I went to the Achievement Guide for the Xbox 
one and then obviously all the solutions that i'd used in the past and got all the game score out of were there brilliant guide it tells you which sort of spheres to click on and how many times i worked my way from sort of top left to bottom right going across the rows and had no problems with the guide it helped me get this game done in no time at all so an easy completion has had a series x stack that could be something for many games in the future i know there was a game recently which i haven't done yet called catty batty was actually released with both versions at the same time so series x stacks is a thing that is happening now above that is back for blood which was obviously released this month and was on is on game pass which is why i've played it i've been playing this with my good friends kevin wolf 123 beth bear and ham station x we play through the the campaign on the normal difficulty we started on veteran I've picked up the collect collectibles from a certain point. I do need to go back and pick up all the Act 1 collectibles. I'm three characters away from finishing a stage of all characters, which I will hopefully get done soon. And then, yeah, beating the game on Veteran is going to be tough. But beating the game on Nightmare, we've had a little dabble with that, is going to be seriously tough. There's no way is this going to be an easy completion. But it is basically Left 4 Dead 3. I think the Left 4 Dead games are slightly better in my opinion, but I don't think this is a terrible game at all. It's fun, but I think it's more fun if you play it with friends and work on a co-op campaign like that. But we've got 550 out of it, so we've had a lot of fun with it, and you'll get a nice, a nice decent chunk of game score for just playing through it on the recruit difficulty the bottom difficulty and perhaps looking up guys to help you find the golden skulls which is what we did certainly with the later ones i was able to find one myself okay so above that is four modes of sport seven but i haven't actually added anything to this again there's just some really lengthy achievements that i haven't done yet that i am still working on and then above that another series x stack they also stacked energy cycle edge which is very much like energy cycle hence the name but you actually after a certain point you start spinning the level round and you have to do sort of each side and get them all the same color again the guides on trueachievements.com for the xbox one version i had to go back and use that because they haven't updated or copied the solutions across to the series x version at time of recording hopefully they will do that in the future but i was able to go back and use that guide to help me get all of the achievements on this because they are literally stacks the achievements have been haven't been changed they're just exactly the same achievements so they've obviously been been enhanced for the series x which is uh yeah don't know how that's happened because <laughs> it doesn't really need enhancing that game anyway above that saw two obviously we had halloween at the end of the month bung the game in the console to unlock the play the game on halloween achievement and have it time stamped so the two achievements i've got now is playing it on christmas day and playing it on halloween day play it on halloween now you can change the clock and go offline and have it do it like that but it won't be time stamped so i just wanted it time stamped so when i when i remember that it was halloween quickly bug quickly bung a disc back in and got it to pop like that right working on achievements in capcom arcade stadium it pops up in the south for the complete lot for a saving about eight or nine quid so you know i love some of the games in that i don't mind playing them again some achievements in that with good with a good ta ratio as i say but just going to take a lot of work so i bought that again and i've started working on some of the lengthy achievements on that haven't actually added anything to it okay plaza versus zombies battle for the neighborville now i must admit i'm not into like online competitive games certainly with that uh aspects about them where you you know your teams against each other like it's got a team battle mode and other modes like that but i was convinced to play this again with my friend kevin wolf at one two three and i don't like that genre I'm not a big fan of that genre genre but i'm actually totally enjoying this so we've got a little bit out of it a lot of it's for earning 200 kills with a certain type of plant or zombie some of them are for the defensive zombies and defending things in a certain way or healing things for a certain amount of time so we've got a little bit out of it i mean this isn't going to be a quick completion by any any strength of the imagination it's certainly going to be a long one which you need to put a bit of time into but i'm having fun with it and i hope to knock off the 200 vanquishes with a certain few characters uh, but i probably won't get the full 1000 out of it okay above it we've got bouncy bullets 2 bouncy bullets was an easy completion the bouncy bullets 2 didn't let me down either 
you can use a guide again to speed this up so you know exactly what to do in the levels however i took it on without a guide and did it in under an hour i would imagine it, if you use a guide and know where to go in, in in some of the levels and how to get through the levels quickly then that will obviously progress your time greatly however i didn't do it because a lot of them were self-explanatory with what you had to do so i decided to do them like complete three different classic mode hard world levels so you only have to play three levels on hard and then we've got what we've we got x amount 10 on medium and first on classic mode 10 uh first on classic mode that's complete complete a level on medium world uh, and then we got yeah 10 different on easy world so and then below that we got defeat you know defeat your first black enemy yellow enemy magenta enemy so just different colored enemies which is going to happen on your first playthrough so they're hidden in the level one of them literally was there straight away in the first level that i couldn't miss or was it the second level i don't know it was one of the very 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 early levels it literally it was just there they're collectibles in the levels which to be honest with you i don't know what they do uh, after you've got one you don't have to find any more if you just want to get the game and score out of it but yeah it's pretty self explanatory what to do and as you'll see it only took me 53 minutes to do it without a guide again guides will obviously tell you what to do and speed things up okay above that so we've got the nascar 08 game on the 360 i keep meaning to play more 360 and this is all i played this month besides bunging the disc in for saw 2 i'm not going to go into this one too much but what I've, you know, it's got some achievements which are online, which you now can't get. So discontinued achievements. But we've done a little bit of it. I mean, the last one I got was Save the Race Replay. I had to use the achieve, True Achievement Guide to actually find that it wasn't as, uh, as obvious where it was as I first thought. But these ones here, where are they for for finishing or winning a series? Complete a custom car for all racing series. There's one for winning a series or a championship. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? That one's an easy one to do. Complete a 100% th a th a length race in race style season mode. You don't have to win it. You just have to finish it. So for 100G, that's well well worth doing. But you'll have to give up a little bit of time for that. But there was one for, for winning an entire championship. There you go. Won the N N Nextel Cup in season mode. And you can actually set it up. You pick one of the two best drivers and then sim it. And then hopefully you'll, you'll get it done. Uh, it took two attempts with one season. And there's another season somewhere. This one here, I think, as well. Which actually took about seven or eight attempts. But I'm not the biggest fan of NASCAR. I gave it a try and played it for a bit. I think I put probably about four or five hours into that game and got that out of it. So just a little bit there for me. Okay, above it is eFootball 2022, which is basically what Pez is now. And it's free. And to be honest with you, it's not that good. I must admit, I didn't really enjoy my time with this. Didn't enjoy it at all. But a 1,000 free game score can be had in under an hour. Now, I did spend longer than an hour with this game because I wanted to play a couple of games first and experience what it's like. And I got I, I scored a goal. I won, I won that game 1-0. So I scored a goal, kept a clean sheet, and I won a match. So I did all of that in, you know, in my first game. I then played a couple of more games, legit. I mean, I was looking at the achievements, but I just wanted to experience the game, see what it's like. Again, didn't like it. But beyond that, every other achievement here, all done with two controllers. So you do it with two controllers and basically play yourself. It then becomes an easy completion because you can like score with a substitute. Save the penalty kick. So you give yourself a penalty with the second controller, and then you take it with your first contr controller. Oh, well, actually, you do it the other way around. So yeah, you win a you win a penalty. Or you get the the opposition to win a penalty against you by fouling them in the box, move their player into the box, and then obviously with the second controller you shoot at your keeper. Uh, score the goal on the counter attack again. Just be aware that's there, so give it to your keeper, chuck it out, score on the counter attack. Again, one after coming back from three goals down, score three own goals or score them with the second controller as quick as you can, and then score for yourself. Uh, score two goals for the same player in a single match. I mean, you could tie it up with that, hopefully. But again, this is all self-explanatory. Score three assists with the same player in a single match. You just have to be aware who you're doing it with or passes to the, to the player who scores. Score three goals for the same player in a match. Again, why are you going for two? Why not get a third? Get a hat trick. Score with a defender. Form a trick to get past the player. I think a couple of these top ones that I needed to use uh, these solutions or true achievements to make life a bit easier for me. I think I used the 
the tip with blocking five shots in a single match. Certainly made it easier to know which buttons to press and exactly what to do. Pulled off winning stoppage time could be a bit finicky, obviously, because you need to win stoppage time. And if you if you don't quite manage it, then obviously you've got to do it again. But if you're playing yourself on a second controller and you get the time it just right, it's not going to be too much of a problem. Scoring a goal with a chip shot is, is not too bad because you can actually do it at an empty goal if you get past the keeper. Goal within three touches of quick restart. Again, just be aware that's there. And the one that I definitely need the true achievement solution for, netted a free kick from 25 metres or more. The setup for the solution on trueachievements.com is brilliant because you basically just move the keeper out of the way and then shoot dead central so that you don't miss the goal. Very good guide on true achievements for that achievement. And then above it, finally, we have don't touch this button. Now, obviously... If you use a guide for this game, you're going to get it done super quickly because even though it says don't touch this button, that is exactly what you have to do to progress through the level. You have to find and touch a button. So whatever it says in the level, you actually have to do. So if it says there isn't a hidden button, there's a hidden button within the level. If it says don't smash all the vases, you smash all the vases, you'll find the button. If it says every vase is real, some of the vases aren't real and you can actually jump on a podium and go through them. Anyway, so if you use a guide... You could whiz through this game in no time at all. I decided after playing the first few levels that I was really enjoying it and that I would play the game and do the game legit. So, oh, if we go to the right bit, I was able to do this game in in two hours and five minutes playing it legit. So, but if you use a guide, you can get that down to no time at all. There's a boss level at the end, which, you know, I wouldn't say takes a great deal of skill, but perhaps requires a little bit of skill and a little bit of fortune. And just, it's, it's, you know, once you work out the path to go, the guide will tell you the path to go to hit all these buttons to then to then beat the boss and complete the game and get the final achievement. But as you'll see, all of these are for completing levels. In fact, one thing, no, I tell a lie, I tell a lie, I didn't do it 100% legit. Did have a guide to find the minions. Destroy one minion, destroy five minions. I did actually use a guide to find those. But I did all the other levels legit, which is why the time is so high. Okay, I'm glad I had a look at that because there nearly was a lot accidental lie there. But yeah, and then dying by certain means. If you're doing it legit, then that will happen because yeah, it will happen in working out how to do the levels. Destroy 25 vases is something that I knew was achievement. And then there's a certain point where it you can pick up blocks to help you. And you have to put these blocks on buttons to get through the level. But you can throw these blocks at vases to smash them. So you just need to be aware that that's a thing and get that done as well. Spend two minutes to complete one level. That happened naturally because some levels were hard. Uh, yep. Yeah. And all of the, just doing levels. Dying as well. Death by spikes. Dying in certain ways. And finding minions as well. Which you may want to use a guide for. Just for those specific achievements. But as I say. Did the game legit with regards to doing the levels. And took just over two hours. But a guide will get the time down significantly. Because it will tell you where everything is you need to do. And that is everything for the month of October. And as I say the Series X stacks are happening. We've had I've done two, and as I say, one Series X stack was released at the same time as a game was actually made in Katy Bay. So, yes, just under 10,000 gamer score. And this just leave me to say, if you have enjoyed this video, this video has helped you, please do hit the thumbs up. That would be awesome. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe and you are new to the channel, I will love you for it. So, this just leave me to say, thank you very much indeed for watching. And as always, please do. Take care.